Good morning. Sorry for the background noise. I have a couple of 3D printers running. So this is a demo on how to do the child's uh, toy blocks. Um, the circle, the square, and the triangle are pretty straightforward. Um, pretty much by this point in this class, you should be able to do them. The, the star is really kind of the tricky one. So I'm going to move pretty quickly. So we go ahead and start a new sketch. I'm going to do a rectangle by pressing R and I'm going to do a center justified rectangle and the size is um, 1.59 by 1.975. I'm going to extrude that to 0.3 and then I'm going to go ahead and press F for fillet and uh, select the four edges and those values are 0.2. I'm going to start a sketch on the face and I'm going to go ahead and throw up a circle that is a diameter of 0.58 and I'm going to then switch to a square for an R oops 0.58 and then R for a square I'm going to throw it up it also is 0.58 by 0.58 and then I'm going to come over and do a polygon and I am just going to put one up here we're going to switch this from 6 to 3 that's what a triangle is and then I got to get it in roughly the right orientation. Now, I'm going to go ahead and dimension these in. So from there to there is 0.94. Up and down is 340. Up and down on this one is 0.05. And left to right on the square is 0.2. For the triangle, I got to move it up a little bit. Um, we're going to dimension its length here to 0.638, and from here to the bottom is also 0.05, and from here to the tip is 0.2. And lastly, we got to get the, the handy-dandy vertical constraint and vertically constrain that in. And there we go. Now, for the star, it's a little more tricky. We're going to start with a circle, and we are going to put up a construction circle, and that construction circle is 605. We are then going to put up another construction circle at 412 inside of it. And then I'm going to go ahead and dimension the center of both of those circles to the 488 and the 363. If I can grab that, that would be great. Dimension uh, 363. Oops. Whoopsie. 0.363, not 363. There we go. Now we're going to do an inscribed polygon, this time here, and it's uh, five sided. So, and then we're going to just select the 605 circle, trying to keep the top line there close to horizontal because we're just going to quickly hop over and then make it horizontal. Now we have all the construction circle, it's time for lines. So I'm going to press line on the compute, the keyboard, turn off construction. And the trick here is you do not want any of these nasty constraints. So you see, black, bad. You need to have blue, good. So we want to find a blue line from there to there. Both are blue, that's good. And we want to go all the way around, getting only good blue lines. Not bad black lines. So we want to first, there we go, from there to there, from there to there, from there to somewhere where it won't, oh, black line, undo, line, trying to find a place where I won't get a black line. There we go. And there we go. So it seems like going way over tends to work better. Let's see if we can do this. Now we go around and to get this star from looking kind of, uh, well, crazy like it is now into uh, something that's perfect, we want to use equals. We want to make this line and this line equal. And then they turn black. And they're the way we want them. Look at that magic. There we go. How about them apples? And here and here. And there we go. Now we're perfect. So now it's time to do a little extrusion. So we press E for extrude. We're going to select all of these objects and we are going to go ahead and blast them through. We are now going to put a fillet because no kid's toy should have sharp edges. It's got to have nice rounded over edges. So we're going to select every line. And of course the outside line and we're going to give that a fillet of 0 0.01. 
Not much of a fillet, but it is one. And then lastly, we got to shell it. So we go ahead and go shell, and this one's 0 .012. There you go. And we are done. Have a great day, and there you go.